So the most important part about, about getting this soil sampling and really understanding nutrient sampling and biological testing, the important part is to actually find out why you're actually going to do it in the first place. So the, the why could be as simple as uh, you want to resolve why there's a crop deficiency or why pasture isn't growing. But the most important thing to do is to actually get an, the actual transect that you're going to sample to make sure it's, it's uh, uh, similar for the whole area. So you're not actually going across two or three different soil types and especially not going through a poor crop area and, and a better crop area. So it doesn't matter how long a transect is, it might be 100 metres long or it might be a kilometre long, depending on the size of the paddock. Um, it needs to be going from one point to another point so that you can actually go back to that point uh, quite easily each time you want to sub or resample it. So that, that actual point should have a GPS reference in the starting point and a GPS reference point on the last point. 25 centimetres deep, in which case you'll go 0 to 25 and then 25 to 50. way to actually do this coring is, is really just to use a shovel and take a slice down the outside of the hole and you'll end up with a nice neat slice like this. Here's our top soil and the rest is subsoil. Take this slice and we simply scrape it off the shovel and we find out that we've actually got a fairly distinct A horizon or, or topsoil and a B horizon subsoil. We can see it's just through here. So we're actually going to separate those two out. As easy as that. Now these two cores, this top core will go into one bucket, which will be your topsoil bucket. The bottom core will go into your subsoil bucket. So we'll do that right now. The, the actual samples are all really, really well mixed up so we can subsample. So that means that we chop it up, stir it up, get it all mixed up nice and even so that when we subsample we get an even, an even sample from all those different sites. Okay, now the next step is let's just tip it out. Now the thing is we only need a small amount of this, we only need 500 grams. So we've got packets that actually fit the right amount. Let's just have a look at them. Okay, so the next step in terms of uh, getting a sample to send off to the laboratory for the analysis and uh, to put in these bags from EAL we need to divide the uh, sample, whole sample into quarters. You can use use tool to do that, or even if you want with your hands. What we want to do, we want to get rid of two, two halves. So we push away the diagonal half. I'm just going to push this off onto the ground. Take that half off and mix it up again. Spread it out evenly again. Then we're going to do the same process again until we've got enough to fit in this bag and go to the fill line. So we'll do this process again. And it's just going to depend on how many samples you've got along on your transect as to how much soil you're going to be mixing up to put into these bags. So I'm just going to have a look now to see if this will fit, fit into this bag.
actually going to have a little bit too much, so I'm just going to quickly do that again, and uh, then we'll be right to fill up the bag and get it ready to send off. Okay, so that should be enough now. And what you might like to do beforehand um, is to actually write, get your marker pen out that um, you've got, and write and uh, your name and uh, fill out the details here on the front. We'll have some help on the form. If you want your date, you want your um, paddock or area ID, your crop ID, so whether it's pasture or sorghum or uh, something else. And um, yeah, important to put uh, what area. So follow, follow the examples. Uh, you might like to put um, a, a sample for um, your area, so area A, and this one is um, our topsoil, so we might put TS or 0 to 10 centimetres for this so that when we, when we get the results back from the lab we actually know which one it, um, which one it was from which paddock and which crop mm -hmm. and topsoil or subsoil. So I'll just um, pretend that I've written on all those details on the front, I won't bore you with watching that and pop the sample into the bag up to the fill line so that's about all we need now what we can do we can fold it down like so and Get your little pre-packaged soil to put off in a, in a box and send off to the laboratory.